and we're gonna try this again. Good morning, guys. Um, my name's Ed Sanchez. Welcome to Kill Team Week Four. Week Four. We're already in Week Four, guys. We are halfway through. Um, I didn't get any kind of uh, reports from anyone. Uh, Izzy did tell me that a few people were playing the game. Um, guys, make sure you are reporting to me, letting me know any kind of shoutouts, any kind of cool moments that you want me to um, talk about uh, in these videos as I slowly but surely um, start actually upgrading how I record things. Um, I did notice, uh, I went last night, I saw some of the scores. Uh, I see Rob edging in on my, on my back. Um, Rodrigo right um, also right there with him guys I do look forward uh, forward to having a game with you um, see if I can continue my luck streak against Primaris it's probably not going to happen um, as a quick update we are going to upgrade the points starting next week um, so all your dudes that are dinging level three and four you may see one or two of them more remember their point hikes are huge because they do get a lot of awesome things. My heavy silencer can now fire twice, which is just amazing. Um, for this week, the two missions are from the Nova Open. The reason I chose these missions is that for I've noticed that a few people have had actual problems getting any kind of victory points during the game. So what these allow for you is to choose secondary objectives. Secondary objectives are available on the actual mission. You get to choose three of them, and at maximum you can always score about three victory points. Um, these missions can be very, uh, very intense. Um, one of them is vital supplies. That's simply a, hey, hold on to the thing. The other one I chose was Ruin by Ruin, which is more holding areas. The reason I like Ruin by Ruin is that it does give an interesting sort of, um, fight to see who wins the argument of quality over quantity because it's all about having more wounds near the um, near the actual ruin to control it. So make sure you guys check that out. Um, the last part of the video, I kind of want to start doing kill team by kill team sort of reviews, sort of my own personal takes and ideas behind them. Um, and of course we'll start with the Space Marines, Boys of Power Armor. Um, I think they're fantastic. I think they're a great starter kill team. Um, whenever I think of... Uh, Space Marines, I think, in Primaris. Two wound models are can be such a problem to get through, especially for my Grey Knights, whose big thing is being able to strike first in the Psychic phase, and taking away that ability, causing it so that they can kind of take that hit and shrug it off and not really care. Just, oh my gosh, can make things so difficult for a few kill teams. Um, plus their new stratagem that allows them to basically, if someone goes out of action, spend two CP, they come right back. It's fantastic. Um, my downsides that I feel about them, they're very much jack-of-all-trades, masters of none, if that kind of makes sense. You have such a large selection, you have a huge selection of guys that can do anything, guys that can do anything, which, like I said, I think they're a fantastic starter kill team. You buy any Space Marine box at the Dragon and done done, you have a kill team. But on the other hand, you have all those selections may seem daunting, and you may overreach in certain areas, thinking I want a shooty melee, I want everything on my team, and your kill team becomes less focused. That being said, um, I believe the top two, I believe Rodrigo's playing actual Death Watch, never mind. Um, but one of the top three, one of the top three is actually currently Space Marines, so they're doing fantastically. I've played against Rob's List, he crushed me the first game. Second game, dice rolled in my favor, and I came out on top um, due to objectives. Like I said, looking forward to those games. And, um, yeah, Space Marines are fantastic, especially if you want to get started on Kill Team. Um, last thing I want to end this video, uh, this shirt that I'm currently wearing, let me move the camera, which says, Papa Nurgle loves hugs. He just wants hugs. This is the full shirt, guys, full shirt. Um, this was made by a good friend of mine, uh, Jennifer Brazes, over at Savage Sparrow. If um, you guys could head on over there, she has some other stuff. I know she's working on a Solanet shirt, um, a corn shirt, possibly. Um, Everything with GW can be a little difficult, but she makes some fantastic content, fantastic nerdery stuff. So do head on over there. I'm going to put the link underneath uh, this video after I share it on the group. Um, and any questions, go ahead and send, shoot me a message, guys. And happy kill to me. Peace.